Well, it was certainly gorgeous uh, down here in, in mm -hmm. Portland in the lowlands, but what about up at the top of the mountain? Bluebird Day. Yeah. Bluebird yeah. Day, for sure, as they say. All blue sky. Look it was at beautiful. That. I mean, yeah, there were some yeah. thin high clouds in the morning. Gorgeous. That sunset, what we call Alpenglow there. Nice. And you can tell the mountain's still a little bit alive. That's called Devil's Kitchen off there on the right. See the rocks that are it's where it's melted? Yeah. It's still there. Someday it'll Gorgeous. wake up. We will see. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, beautiful view. Now, there will be a little bit of snow on the mountain tomorrow, folks. Not much. It'll be just, you know, an inch or so. But uh, it was warmer up there today. I'd love to show you the temps, but they appear to both be off since they're both blank. But I, I know it was in the low to mid 40s up there at Ski Bowl earlier today. All right, the south wind has arrived at the coastline, southwest to 17, gusting to about 30. And you see the clouds thicker offshore. That's rain out there, folks. That should move on to the entire coastline here within the next oh, hour or two. All right, and you see these clouds starting to thicken here in the metro area. Nice evening, though. For the next two hours, it should be dry. Anytime after 8, I think it could rain. We'll be tracking that during our evening shows here at 5, and then at 6, and then at 8 and 9 over on Fox 12 Plus. Look at those numbers today, though. Yeah, 57 in Portland was nice. 58 in Kelso was nice. Seattle was great. 61 at Tillamook and 64 at Eugene. That's really nice stuff for this time of the year. And then you see the high desert of eastern or central Oregon, right around 60 around Redmond and Madras. And then a little cooler in, in the far eastern part of the state. Some of you have snow cover. Of course, that keeps the temperature down. But tonight, 40s west side. It won't be as cool tonight west side. It'll be in the 20s and 30s for most of you east side as that rain moves on shore. Now, for the kids in the morning, last day of the school week, um, just a few showers, just like some light stuff here and there, 45. Now, in the afternoon, uh, there'll be some sun breaks. We're going to call it mainly dry. Can't rule out a shower. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if there was a, we look at the radar tomorrow during our 4 and 5 o'clock shows, and there are just a few little green spots here and there. But uh, what's ahead? Well, I think dry is the big word through Sunday. Not much rain. The only showers are tomorrow. I think we've got a dry weekend ahead. We're going to see a mixture of cloud cover and sunshine, maybe a spot or two of fog. We definitely see a cooler pattern for next week. Not really cold. There's no Arctic blast coming, but just temperatures back in the 40s, which now 40s in mid to late February is a little below average. Could there be snow in the lowest elevations? If it's going to happen, which I don't think it really may happen, uh, Monday night and Tuesday morning, leftover showers could mix with snow at that point. And we'll talk about that more as we go through this hour. For now, we got the system offshore. It's actually splitting. There's some energy going down here, some going up here. So it's kind of doing this weird splitty thing. In fact, that part seems to be falling apart. Uh, that's what comes in and gives us the uh, light rain for about, oh, half an hour, around 8 or 9 p.m. And then it moves off, and we get these scattered showers for the morning commute. Tomorrow afternoon, yeah, there's still a few scattered showers around, but a lot of dry areas. So I just think if you're at any one location, you know, you stay at home all day tomorrow and you're looking out the window the whole day, I bet you for only a short time you'll see any showers. Saturday, mixture of cloud cover to sunshine, pretty nice in the afternoon. Sunday, oh, maybe a spot of fog, some high clouds in the afternoon. And beyond that, of course, we do have that snow level that's going to take a big dip, we think, on Monday night, but then it comes back up. All right, so your Portland forecast. Mainly dry afternoon tomorrow. I think we're just going to see a few showers here and there throughout the day. Temperatures back around 50, which is normal. In fact, that same range Saturday and Sunday, a dry weekend, a wet Monday. And then we've got those mixed showers Monday night, Tuesday morning. Most of Tuesday may just be dry, by the way. It may just go dry in uh, low to mid 40s, I think, the rest of next week. Temperatures definitely below average. And we'll get back into nighttime frost beginning Tuesday morning as well. Okay.